a lone patrol on reconnaissance in hostile territory. Commence new bound over. Three two Charlie confirm. But with an unexpected twist in terrain, the mission is in jeopardy. This simulation is not a military exercise. This is three two Charlie. Bring in the bridge over. This is a field trial for the world's most advanced tactical bridge. Somebody call for a bridge? Yep. Engineer Richard Richter co-designed the prototype and is eager to put it to the test. Probably, I'm guessing 15 to 20 meters. We have the world's fastest multi-span bridge system presently going light years ahead of anybody else's system. It's called a scissor bridge, but its official name is the ERES-80T FR Tactical Bridge System. Designed to be a faster, longer, and more efficient crossing concept for Canadian and Allied forces, ERE Logistics is testing their portable bridge at a site in southern Alberta. From that pile of branches to there is 20 meters. Okay. Today, the obstacle is a 60-foot water crossing with a 12-foot high embankment. Everything is hydraulic. Okay, we're going to split it. With stabilization legs firmly planted, unit balanced. We're setting the, uh, the bridge tower up, and then we're going to deploy the bridge, opening it up. The first 34-foot span unfolds like a giant toy transformer. Right now, as we're actually unfolding the bridge or unscissoring it and making it an actual straight bridge. It's a heavy metal ballet with every component working in sync. The bridge itself weighs in at about at 5,000 kgs, and then the layer itself is about 9,000 kgs. The more you do it, better you get at it, too. <laughs> we're going to de deploy the legs on the bridge. The first section of bridge is down in less than a half hour. Okay, are we looking level at that point? 34 feet of bridge and 22 minutes. Looking good. Okay, legs up. The bridge launcher is quickly disconnected. The job is halfway done. We get the second set of piece of bridge and we'll add on to this. To understand the advantages of this high-speed bridge, a little history of tactical bridges is required. Introduced in World War II, the Bailey Bridge allowed Allied forces to build crossings where bridges had been knocked out. The Bailey Bridge is basically an erector set that has to be put together. You're talking hundreds and hundreds of pieces. Bridge systems in today's military are still limited by load capacity and length. The problem is they only can span so many feet. For this system, you just keep adding on to it. The ERE design is actually based on a 1955 Russian concept called the TMM-3. We looked at it and basically said, all it has to do is be modernized. And with the help of Richard's partner and father, Eric, the company updated the design. Well, it wasn't my idea alone. It was uh, Richard and his uh, partner. They looked around for it, but we totally modified it. It works now a lot easier. With soldiers standing by, the truck returns with a second span to finish the crossing. The design may look simple, but the toughest challenge was creating a bridge layer that could disconnect from the tow vehicle and adopt a system the military calls Flat racking. Flat rack is a system where the rack or the deck can be removed from the truck, freeing the truck up to move uh, fuel modules, water modules, ammunition, any types of cargo. Unlike past concepts, this flexibility means you don't need a dedicated truck to lay each section of bridge. It's just totally a modular system. We have the main hydraulic rams that uh, raise and lower the uh, the tower. Fundamental to the design is the bridge launcher itself, an assembly of steel arms and winches powered by massive hydraulic rams. There's a lot of weight to lift. I mean, we're, we're lifting in excess of uh, 10,000 kgs. Okay, tower up. 
With 20,000 pounds of steel standing at 100 degrees, the stabilization legs are critical in this balancing act. They're carrying the entire weight of the bridge system. So we jack and we use this level here to basically balance it out because we can't have the truck leaning right or left because of the stability of the bridge. We want to make sure that everything stays nice and square and straight so that we don't topple it over. And everything is operated by remote control. Designed to be assisted by gravity, the second span is lowered. By continually adding spans, the length of the SADT is unlimited. Length is not an issue for this bridge system. We can go as long as we have to. But what about depth? This bridge system is designed to handle 3.5 meters, and that's how deep the water is. If it's over 3.5 meters, uh, we can't do it. That's it. Okay. After less than two hours' work, the 70-foot bridge is rock solid and ready for traffic. It's brilliant. We're ready. Okay, so it's time for us to uh, basically prove the bridge works and test it out. The production model will feature even longer 40-foot spans and handle even bigger loads. And with the Canadian military about to deploy the heavier Leopard 2 tank, this bridge may be arriving just in time. Being rated at 65 uh, tons, uh, there's a need for an 80-ton bridge system. We believe that once we spent the time we have on the R&D, it'll be truly state-of-the-art. A 21st century concept ready to bridge the technology divide.